so it was, you know, just a great defensive effort to turn that team over 21 times and, you know, to, to do such a great job on Padula, uh, who is a real uh, key for, you know, for them. Um, I thought the kids are starting to get excited about guarding in, in such a way where, where it can frustrate the opponent, um, which leads to transition and, and some fun things in the game. Um, I, I, again, I've got a, I've got the best staff in college basketball. Um, they've got to overcome me as the head coach, but I've got the best staff. Um, Ira Bowman and Mike Burgermaster had a absolutely brilliant game plan. Um, we, we studied Virginia Tech. Um, they run, they run really hard stuff to guard, but there's a certain way to guard them. Um, and, um, I thought we did an outstanding job in our prior. Our scout team did a great job this week. Um, both Blake and Lior playing those two guards all week long. And then AD uh, 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 playing um, Kid. We had three guys all week long that we had to go up against that, that, that really helped us get prepared, really helped us get ready. So... Um, you know, that's a and and look that one matters double because it's the ACC SEC challenge, and if we're going to establish Auburn as um, one of the better teams in the SEC, then you've got to be able to be trusted to be able to be de to deliver against uh, against that against that league. Rishi mentioned it just a second ago, but you know, even on a night when y'all weren't shooting well, you force all those turnovers, you get easy baskets on the other end, you had thirty yeah. point, you had thirty something points and points off turnovers. Just no, how great. key was that for for y'all tonight specifically? That team doesn't turn the ball over. They turn over eight times a game. And and we were able to, you know, again, the way the kids bought in and and, and how hard they worked, that fits in with our depth. Just made made their off made it difficult offensively. I thought we got great rim protection. I thought Janai tonight. Not only did he not only did he like score and rebound, but he played great defense. He kept the ball to the post when the ball went in there. He defended physically without fouling, and he protected the rim. He played like a first team All Conference player tonight. Now I've been I've been on him pretty good, um, and. Um, I think he went home and had some turkey, talked to his family, and said, "Look, if I'm gonna, you know, if if I'm gonna be able to, if I'm the best player on the floor, I gotta I gotta act like it, I gotta play well, like it, I gotta prepare like it." And he obviously did. Now you could do that sometimes and not get rewarded, but he got rewarded tonight, and uh, he was the best player on the floor. Bruce, we talked to you this week about about Chad and kind of his impact in the game off the bench for you guys. What can you say about that? Even after his, his injury, he was out for a little bit. Yeah, we can't afford to lose him. You know, we, we, we're really good when he's on the floor because he, he's, he, he knows how to play. Again, he just he has stuff you can't teach. So then my job is to utilize him in a lot of different ways. So we're putting the ball in his hands in many ways to make plays uh, because he can obviously score, but he, always, but he also can pass. And you know, so tonight he has three assists, no turnovers, two steals. He's kind of a stut sheet stuffer. I'm on him pretty good, um, because, but I have high expectation for him. And I, I love that he's got some joy, that he's having some – that the kids are, in spite of me, they're still enjoying themselves. Coach, last week you were pretty adamant that the second-half team that you were seeing – may not be able to win an SEC play. What did you see from your team in the second half uh, tonight, and how do you feel about them going into the rest of the season? I feel good about it. Keep in mind, Virginia Tech was down one player, their one starter, um, and so their depth was a little compromised. And they've been on the road pretty much. I don't know if they stayed on the road or they went back to Blacksburg to just do their laundry. But, I mean, they played Thursday, Friday, Sunday in Orlando. You know, beat a great, really good Boise T State team, beat a good Iowa State team, and played Florida Atlantic even uh, in the first half. So they were a little tired. And so I think the fatigue in the second half definitely took its toll. And, and look, we've got to shoot better. We've got to execute offensively better. We've got to finish at the rim better. 
we got to we got to shoot better foul shots. So uh, obviously, our offense, um, what, you know, they they do a, a good job of getting in the right spots. I don't think our guys um, conceptually uh, took advantage of the way they packed things in, and um, that's part of that. Is my job is to do a better job of teaching them what's available offensively when you're being guarded like they guarded us. Bruce, uh, around an 8:20 tip Wednesday night in November, and you walk out and it's packed and the crowd's in there. I mean, first, I, you're smart. It has to be a lot of fun, but how valuable is that to, to know that's out there every time? Well, it's December. Or no, it's November. <laughs> Almost December. And, and, we're in, and it's college basketball. And our place is full. It's sold out. Um, Mike came up to me before the game and, you know, talked about our team a little bit. And, you know, we both enjoyed the preparation. I enjoyed preparing for him because he's, they do so many really good things. And I think they enjoyed preparing for us as well. But he just looked up and looked around and went, this is pretty special. And it is. It is. Um, and, I mean, um, I'm hoping, it, I'm hoping that, the, that they were enter entertained. I mean, it was entertaining. Kids are playing hard. Um, and, 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 and we can play. We can play better offensively. To, to hold a team like that to 27% shooting, 57 points for the game, you focus so much defensively. How did you see that kind of come to fruition tonight? Uh, there are certain things that we do defensively. There, and, and I will say this too, Matt. It, a lot of times it is about matchups. And I can't even – I can't emphasize that enough to you as writers who, you know, don't teach the game. You report in the game. Matchups matters. And there are some things that some people do that we really guard very well, and there are some other things that people do that we don't guard very well. And this was a good matchup for us, the way they played. And so um, we do spend a lot of time. And, again, I, I've got, you know, this was Ira Bowman and Mike Burgermaster's scout. I can't, I can't overemphasize the preparation. And, and, and we were on, we, you know, we were we, – we, we had it down. And it gives your kids great confidence, too, when you're able to do that. Look, we're just doing our job, but, but I, I, my staff did a nice job. Again. Coach, you guys battled a lot in the paint tonight. 42 points in the paint, 26 second chance points. It felt like it was a, the physicality that you guys brought down low helped change the tide of the game. Yeah, I, I, and, I, and yet we got out-rebounded, and yet we had um, – they had – 17 offensive rebounds, and we had 23 defensive rebounds. So we've got to do a better job of keeping them off the boards um, than when we're playing bigger, stronger, more physical teams. But I was worried about the physicality and how our guys would respond to it. They set good screens. They get through things. Um, and our guys did, did, did fine. Um, I think the teams that are going to be able to be the most physical teams in the SEC are the ones that are going to compete for the championship. There's a lot of really talented teams in our league. The champion is going to be a, a team that will embrace physicality. Coach, we go back to the crowd aspect. Coach Young said in his press conference they seem to really be on him all game, just him and his guys. It's kind of how y'all able to really impact from that and, you know, just what it means to have the jungle packed almost did, game in and game Did Coach out. Young talk about the crowd he a little did, bit? He did, he did. Yes, sir. Well, you know what? I think that um, you had called a couple timeouts to sort of keep the crowd out of it a little bit. Um, and um, the crowd could do two things. One, it could take your guys to another level, and our guys certainly enjoy playing in front of their the home crowd. Uh, but it also could bother some opponents. And our elevated play um, and the intensity of our crowd, um, definitely that's what a home court advantage is all, is all about. And so I, when I say we've got the best home court advantage in college basketball, that's pretty, that's pretty strong. But I think tonight we backed it up.
Oh, he's a sweet guy. Great guy. I'm sure he's really complimentary. Yeah. 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 No, no, he's a great guy.